Hello. It's my podcast. My podcast. Hello. Welcome to my podcast called Within the Flesh. It's episode 19. What are we going to be talking about today? Um, A few things. First off is that I've been given uh, advice that the intro to my podcast is a little bit on the slow side because I drum up something to th- uh, talk about. So I guess I should come into this with an actual purpose rather than slowly drifting until I latch on to the rock of topic and to ride that until the very end of the podcast. But yeah, I guess we'll do that now. We'll give it a spin. We'll give it a try. We'll see what the numbers are like. Okay. Uh, I plan on talking about right or what is it? Compliments. Compliments. Good, bad, and like the absolute middle ground compliment. Because I got something to talk about with that. And we'll also probably be talking about maybe how that applies to different situations. Like, um, people around you, maybe efforts you're doing, all that good shit, right? Uh, I don't know exactly what else. I think we'll roll an icebreaker question and we'll see what we, what we can do with that. But let's go ahead and get into it then. Let's talk about the the compliments that people can give and how there's always, there's like the good one, the bad one. I guess it's not compliments if it's bad, but it's, uh, what is it? What would it be called if not a compliment? Would it be a comment? I suppose it's a comment or something, uh, but it, it's basically... How someone feels towards uh, you or something you're doing or something like that. Something you've made, possibly. Uh, and for me, I've got, I, I want to talk about this a little because it, it, it gets under my fucking skin. Um, so, you know, say you make like a little drawing or a picture, right? And it's, I, I would love if someone says oh that's a great picture right it shows a clear feeling of like oh that's great fantastic um whereas you know there's also the negative which i would also accept which is that looks awful or that's horrible right it's a clear feeling it's like oh i don't like what you've done or what you've created, or who you are, and that's fine as well. I'm perfectly fine with that. It may not be what I want, but at least it's a clear feeling, right? And then we get to the brass tax, right? The absolute brass tax of the issue, which is the in-between feeling, you know what I mean? I think that is like the worst feeling whatsoever. <laughs> Have you ever done something or made something and someone said, oh, that's nice. And you're like, what? What What do you mean it's nice? What do you mean? Or they're like, oh, that's all right. Like, as in what you have done is all right. Like, what? What? What do you mean? (laughs) I don't know. I just, I woke up from a nap and I'm thinking about that. I'm like. Hold up a second. Wait up a second. This is some bullshit, man. I just woke up like that. Uh, but it's just people who give a nothing burger answer. I'm perfectly fine if you don't want to offend someone. But giving a nothing burger answer just... It's like, come on, man. What the F are you doing, bro? I... I don't know. I feel like... If you're going to give your opinion on something, or even if someone asks you, you should actually give an opinion. Like, for me, I would rather call someone's thing that they like. I If I don't like it, I'll just say, oh, I don't like it, I find it boring. You know, it's not interesting to me. Because then at least they know where I'm coming from. If I say, oh, I think it's cool, I think it's all right. Or I guess not cool, because that would actually be like a positive compliment if i just say if i say something like it's all right or 
Yep, that's a game series. Oh my god, I'd have such a fucking flip out if someone did that to me. <laughs> I don't know if I'm sounding crazy or something like that, but... Um, I've had that happen a few times. Like, I make art, right? And it's not everybody's art. In fact, most of the time, no one likes it, which is fine. It's perfectly fine to not like something, right? But then, you fucking, like... <laughs> Show it up to someone. I'd rather someone spit in my face and be like, this is fucking garbage. What are you doing with your life? Uh, than to just be like, oh, it's all right. It's like, what, what? What? Give me some emotion. Was it such a pile of shit that you could not even muster any kind of emotion? It's, uh, what is it? You know those movies where, like, <laughs> and I think this applies to real world kind of stuff. Like, I I feel like people have done this, and I feel like I've done this as well before, but if you ever in your life want to cause the ultra freak-out moment for someone, right, just fucking ignore them. Like, it is, it is crazy what kind of damage that can do to someone. It is the absolute nothing-burger neutral option that you can give to someone. To not even, it, I would dare say, you know, it's kind of like those movies, those shows where, like, the dad beats their kid, but the kid's like, oh, well, at least, you know, he still knows that I'm here. Whereas, like, once you're ignored, that's it. You're over. You're done with. Flip you over. You're sunny side up, motherfucker. <laughs> I feel like you can do that in real life. Like, if you just ignore someone, like, again, the real world application is ghosting, you know, maybe that's not for interpersonal relationships, you know, like a uh, mom and a daughter or, you know, a father and son or something like that. It's not for that. That's not what you would call ghosting, but, uh, you know, ghosting is a real thing and it feels horrible for a lot of people. They would rather have someone say, hey, I think you're boring, I think you're ugly, I think uh, you're just uh, an all-around awful person, and I don't want to talk to you anymore. They'd rather have someone say that, give them a reason, uh, than to just, poof, ghost them, you know what I mean? Because it's like the, <laughs> again, it's the worst thing that can ever happen to you. I don't know why I woke up with this idea, but. I was just thinking about this. I was like, what could be the worst possible feeling? Oh, wait, there's the positive, the compliment, there's the negative. Maybe even, I wouldn't even call it criticism, because criticism is supposed to be a positive kind of a thing. Um, but the worst thing is like nothing. There's absolute nothingness. Um, and again, I, I've kind of demonstrated that via my own example of being an artist that some people I show my art to and they're like, oh, that's okay. Or, neat. <laughs> it's like, Bleh. what do you gotta do this to me? What? What? You gotta make me look awful? You gotta make me look like a disgusting little piece of shit? <laughs> that's how I feel, at least. It feels like someone's like, yeah, you're not even worth my time to really comment on that. I'm, I mean, just try it out. If any of you psychos are listening to this, maybe go try it out on someone. Be like, uh, you know, if someone's like, hey, by the way, just check this cool video out. Take a look at it. Just be like, oh, cool. Or not, not cool. Say something else. Say something. Just be like, oh, neat. That's nice. Oh, all right. Oh, what, what did you think of the video, man? Oh, uh, it's cool. Oh, God damn it. It's okay. There you go. Just give them the neutral and see how much of a fucking freak out they have. Or at least I, I feel like <laughs> everyone would. I don't know if everyone would. I'm just saying how I feel. How I feel when that happens. Um. But more back to the real life situation. I know I went back there, kind of repeated for no reason, but 
the real life example of you know people being ghosted or ignored you know it is absolutely devastating it will drive them up the walls and go wild dude because the thing about it and i think of this from the psycho kind of viewpoint is that if you leave someone with nothing right they are left to fill in the holes you know if someone leaves you or breaks up with you they're like well again i think you're awful you smell you're stupid you're just not you just suck bro right that can at least fill the hole and you're like okay well at least i understand the reasoning behind it or if someone uh you know is dating you and they want to give you a compliment you know, they're like, oh, you're so fantastic. You're so lovely. You know, that fills in the hole of security, right? But say they just fucking disappear on you. It eats away. Because you can be like, well, did they leave me because I wasn't that nice? Did they leave me because I left the pasta out? Now the pasta's dry. I can't eat it no more. Fuck. You know? It just eats away at them. And it's horrible. I've had it happen to me. I know damn well I've done it to other people. And I don't think I realized how impactful that is until later in life. Where, you know, again, you, you don't really get to learn that kind of stuff until later in life. Or maybe it's not a later in life. Maybe it's just a, you know, the era that I grew up in where, you know, most people weren't really online. And you had to, I'm not, listen, listen, I'm not trying to be one of those boomers, boomers. No, I'm not trying to be one of those people that's like, well, back in my day, uh, we didn't really, we really didn't fucking go online. Of course we went online. I had a friend group online before I had a uh, real life friend group and all that shit. But what I'm trying to say is that like, at least for uh personal connections you know you would be like oh hey what's up man and then just meet up you, know, you weren't on there 24 7 uh which made the ghosting i feel like a lot worse because once they ghosted you it's like well i know this person in real life you know <laughs> what, what's going on you can't escape me that easily little punk whereas online online friends i feel like you can't really be true friends with you know what i mean as mean as that sounds, because I know there's some people watching who think, Oh, Dropsy's my good old friend. That is true, but, you know, what, what's stopping me from just, you know, being like, okay, bye. <laughs> and just never coming back, you know. There's always that option of just leaving when I deem it, so. And that's a spooky thing, right? Um... But I, I try and not do that anymore, even though it's hard to do. I don't know if anyone else has this kind of feeling, but it's like the feeling of conflict. You know, you don't really want to upset other people. So you're like, oh, well, I, I guess I better just swallow the bullet. Oh. Or not swallow the bullet, swallow your pride. I don't know. You swallow something. You put something in your fucking mouth. You swallow it. Um. But you just kind of deal with what you don't like because you don't want to stir the pot. I know that there's at least someone else. I won't mention them by name because uh, they actively said they do not want to be on this podcast before. It's fine. But I know this person uh, who's very much like that. They will literally just bite their feelings or they'll pour them out to me in secret. Because they don't want to say it to the people. Uh, because they, they don't want to stir, the, they don't want to rock the boat, you know what I mean? And that's fine enough. A lot of people are in a position where life is already too stressful as is. You know, why rock the boat even further? You know what I mean? But I think it's important to try and at least get out your message in one way or another. Even if it hurts, or even if it causes a little bit of a rift, you know, I feel like it's very important to do that. 
You have to be able to speak your feelings or else you'll get walked on for the rest of your life. And that's that, baby. I don't know. I'm trying to think of here. Let me let me grab a little drink of water. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know. There's people that, uh, you know, they don't get to say their true expressions. I try and be truthful with my expressions all the time. Like, if I'm annoyed with someone, I'll just say, hey, listen, you're being fucking annoying. I'm just kidding. I would never say that. That's crazy of me to even think that. You just got gaslighted. You thought I was going to go into that? You're stupid. Anyways. I... <laughs> I try and, uh, I like to at least try and be a little bit blunt and be like, oh, well, that's stupid or something like that. But I don't know. There's a little bit of a mix and match in my brain. There's one half of me that wants to be, uh, sympathetic or to be gentle or something like that. Whereas the other half wants me to just be like, shut the fuck up. You know, <laughs> I guess that is the true balance. I don't know if anyone else experiences that. But I find that the issue is I'm being too hard and too soft. You got to kind of find the in-between where you tell someone to be like, shut up. Or listen, I understand your point of view. You know, <laughs> I know lately there was a situation. Um... Or again, I, I won't name this person because, you know, it might be a little, might be a little bit too much of a call out, I suppose. But uh, they had an incident over a graphics card. I, I think that will just boom. I Wait a second, I know who that is. Anyways, they had an incident over a graphics card where someone they know gave them and gave them their graphics card for free. Right. And the person was just so disrespectful and rude. I don't understand how someone could be like that. Maybe I was like that at a point, but I feel like eventually you kind of get the consciousness and you're like, wait, I probably shouldn't word it in such a harsh way, you know, especially when it was a gift from someone. <laughs> Like, I, I got money from my grandma. It wasn't as much as I was expecting, but I'm not going to call her up and be like, yeah, you know, shit money, dude. Like, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're pulling, but, you know, there's people out there who have a lot more money than that to give me. And I don't know why you couldn't do that. It's like, I don't know. That is so freaking crazy to me. I remember having a freak out during the call that this was happening and. Because, you know, I will admit, okay, there is facts. You can be like, well, the graphics card given was not as big of an upgrade as, I don't know, a 3090, right? That makes sense. And it might not even be the biggest upgrade compared to what they had before. But the fact is, is that it's a fucking upgrade. You know? <laughs> I, I can't understand anyone who would upgrade... You know, for free, via someone else, right? And then call it shit to proceed with that. That is just so crazy to me. Oh my gosh. I am just having, like, <laughs> I'm having secondhand embarrassment just from talking about it. I think it might be an alcohol thing. You know, I think that's the real issue at the end of the day is just maybe the alcohol. It kind of heightens people's, uh, dumbassery you know i oh my god why did i say that i feel like only 10 year olds say dumbass you know <laughs> uh, but that, that's how it feels you know if i said something like that i feel like i'd be i would be wearing like a donkey mask for much of an at how much of an ass i would be you know this isn't a dig at the person who did this but it's more of the behavior itself. It is, like, so crazy that someone would do that. Um, and, you know, here's the other thing to consider, I suppose, is the other side of it, which is that that person had to, you know, 
what was it? The person who gave that one individual the graphics card had recently bought an upgrade for their brother's PC, right? Their brother hasn't had an upgrade in, since forever, right? But they surprised their brother with a big old PC upgrade, which is probably what brought it on. But the point is, is that it doesn't fucking matter, you know? <laughs> it's their brother. It's their money that they have, you know? What? Why would it be, like... Why would it be spat upon? Why would it... Why would you do that towards someone? Be like, oh, well, you gave me a shit GPU. I know it was free, and I could have still been on the previous one, but <laughs> fuck you, man. Right? It's just crazy to me. Uh, and to further, like, kind of describe this, I don't know if I, I've been doing well describing the situation at hand, but um, the person who got the free graphics card upgrade also got a completely new chair from said person who gave them a fucking graphics card for free. And I, I know the chair may have not cost as much as a new graphics card, but it certainly costs quite a bit, I imagine. Um, and it's just so crazy. I just don't get that kind of mindset. Um, you know, as someone who grew up within, like, a slightly... I'd say above the poverty, like slightly above it, uh, slightly above the poverty line. Uh, I would never be able to understand how someone would treat their possessions like that or to do that towards someone. Like if someone gave me a fucking can of Pinto's beans, right? I don't like Pinto's beans, but I ain't going to be like, really? Pinto's beans, that's all you could give me? Really? You know. Now, if they had listen, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say something controversial. If they had the option, right? If there was an option, right? I don't know. I, I'm trying to compare it to like food, but food doesn't make sense. Because like <laughs> I don't know. I, I oh, I have a good comparison, okay? It's kind of like the discount, like, off-brand macaroni cheese I get sometimes, right? It's not the fucking name brand. It definitely don't taste like name brand, I'll tell you that much. Uh, it's not as big, you know. It's, it's very different, I'll say it like that. But I wouldn't fucking be like, oh, well, this isn't name brand mm, macaroni and cheese, so now I'm going to be angry with you. It's like, why? Why would you do that? I don't know. I, I'm probably too much on this topic, but... Um, I don't even know what got me onto this topic. Other than just not being appreciative of things. Which I guess would make sense, because... Uh, it's past the holidays now. I hope everyone had a good... Time. I hope everyone had a good... Uh, Christmas and New Year's and all that good shit. I, I hope it was fantastic. <gasps> but... Yeah, um, I think appreciation should go quite a way. Like, even if you don't like something right away, you know, don't just spit on it in front of the person who gave it to you, you know? <laughs> I feel like I've done that once or twice in my life. And I think one of the times I was a kid and I got my ass beaten for it. Not by the people who gave it to me, but I am pretty sure that uh, my mom... I was like, oh, thank you, haha, ha. he's just, he's a little funny man. And then, like, uh, once we got home, I got my ass beat in red. Which, you know, I'd probably do the same thing to my kid. <laughs> I'd fucking, ooh, I'd do something to them. I'd be like, oh, you little fuck, you little, ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know. Uh, sorry, I had to just bring that up. Again, this podcast is very much like a personal diary to me. Uh, there's not really any direction, you know. We'll have to see how good that intro is compared to before, where I would just be like, oh, how's it going? We're going to, um, oh, I don't know, spaghetti, spaghetti dinner, you know. I would talk like that, but we'll, we'll have to see how well it does. 
because this is definitely a much more of a journal, I suppose. Which, I don't know, some people do that with their podcast. I don't know. Anyways, uh, there is one thing. I don't know. I, I guess I could continue with the non compliment in order to really solidify it within the uh, YouTube bada bing title and all that stuff. But. I don't know. There's not really much else to cover about it other than that it feels very bad to give the non compliment. I don't know if that's what you would call it a non compliment. Um, it feels very much like being ghosted or ignored or spat upon. You know, <laughs> oh no, it's just crazy to me that some people are like that in this world. Um, and I've done it before, so I am one of those people. Uh, I think technology makes it a lot easier to ghost someone, to just, like, not talk to them and all that. Like, <laughs> if you have a friend in real life, you don't answer their call. They might, I don't know, the feelings have changed nowadays, you know? I feel like people are like, oh, well, we're not answering, so whatever. I guess whatever. Um, But I feel like... I don't know, for genuine friends, it really hurts. It really, really does. And, you know, for me, I've had that happen. I've done that to someone, and I've had that done to me. And, you know, it's pretty awful. Like, I again, I would probably never, ever want to do that to someone ever again. I will at least tell someone why I don't like them, or why I'm angry with them, even if it makes me stressed out because conflict is stressful you know what i mean and i th there's also the other part of it which i'll i'll get into in a moment if i remember but um yeah i'd rather tell someone like hey i you've been kind of a dickhead i don't want to be around you anymore all that good stuff before i just rip them out of my life but uh you know sometimes it's a good thing I, I, I know I just said it's the worst, most awfulest thing ever. Oh my lord, don't ever do that. But, um, it, got, it does give, like, the intended reaction sometimes, which is that, you know, people are like, oh shit, maybe I've pissed them off. It's less direct, I suppose. It's very much like, I guess some people can consider it that, the person was so uncomfortable with bringing up something with you that they just decided to ignore you instead of actually talk about the conflict. Um, but I guess that won't apply for every situation. Uh, but again, it's very much a fuels the fire. I guess what I'm talking about is the ghost thing that is like someone has not done something entirely wrong. Maybe they have upset you, but, you know, they have done nothing, like, wrong. They haven't uh, said anything bad towards you or something like that. It, again, it's a very much non... Uh, it's a nothing burger kind of response, I suppose. Uh, and for a lot of people, it can be pretty life-changing. I know that a recent example would be my mom and her brother. Uh, her brother constantly just bitches and bitches and bitches about everything in her life. And while she was like, you know what? I think I'm sick and tired of this. You know, I'm just not going to answer. And we'll see what happens. She did exactly that. She, I think, well, no. I, I guess I'll finish up this and then I'll talk about that. I got like two things to talk about and I already forgot the, the other. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so she ignored him, right? And he's all like, ah, oh, well, blah, 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 you know? But eventually, he's like, listen, I'm sorry for what I've been doing, you know? I, you know, I get this way sometimes, blah, 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 all that good shit, right? And she talked with him again. So I think sometimes it can be used for good. 
but I think the most impactful thing that you can do, which I think, like, I kind of view it as like a movie, an action movie, you know, when you do it. But if you say how you feel, right, you can be like, well, I think you're a jerk. You did this. It really peeved me off, man. Right. And then to ignore that person. It's almost like a river. Again, this is me talking for the psychopath. I would use this to try and hurt someone with it. But uh, if we <laughs> if we think about it, um, it's almost like a river. You know, you can't really stop a river, but you can definitely change the flow of it. And that's what you can do with that kind of situation. If you want to just give them a non response, you know, then that will entirely leave it up to them, uh, you know, how you're feeling or how they should react. I know that I've, I've done that before where I just didn't answer anyone. And most people were just like, oh, he's, he's probably just busy, you know, when it, the whole time I just felt hurt. So definitely if you're, if you're going to do this to someone, which I highly suggest you don't, I would just say, work out your problems. Just message someone and be like, Hey, no, oh, this really hurt my feelings. Yeah. You know? Or, you know, talk to someone and be like, listen, you know, I don't, I don't want to uh, break up this relationship, friendship, family ship, whatever ship, but you know, the things you've done kind of get under my skin. Um, but if you are going to do something like this, at least give them direction, you know, say what the issue is and then ignore them because then they will know that this is something that is very big, uh, very big issue. You know what I mean? <laughs> or, you know, if you don't ever plan on connecting with that person again, then it leaves them with that kind of, uh, nasty reason. You know what I mean? I don't know. I've read between different people before. Uh, there's two people that I know that when they had a fight, uh, one of them goes to the other and it just, oh my god. It made things like horrible. The worst. Because that person who got ignored, they didn't become seldom. You know, they they didn't become sad. They didn't be like, oh, what, what, is, what can I do? They eventually did, but they were fucking angry. They were pissed, you know. They're like, oh, what the fuck? What did I do to deserve this? You know? <laughs> so you gotta, you know, it's very, um, you gotta kind of consider what, who the person you're ignoring is and exactly what the ramifications that is. Like the emotion surrounding that, I suppose. But, uh, it's, it's definitely not a good thing to do. But I will say it has happened before. Where, I don't know, it's, it feels good for you when you're doing it. it it's almost like, it's almost like drugs, you know, it was good for you when you're doing it, but when someone does it to you, you're like, ah, I'm gonna fucking, oh, I'm so crazy mad right now, you know, <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, uh, I don't know. It's pretty crazy, I suppose. Let me drink some water. Uh, okay. I think that's... What is that? That's like almost half hour mark. So we'll wrap that up. We'll leave it as the nothing burger compliment. And ghosting. We'll maybe put ghosting in. Ghosting kind of just fits around that. I could talk about ghosting, but that's basically what it is. It's a nothing burger kind of response, you know. And to ghost someone is pretty awful. Makes you feel good at the moment, but, you know, have it happen to you. See how much you like it, motherfucker. <laughs> Always work out your issues, people, because here's the other thing about it, is that uh, when you ghost someone, right... You may feel like you're on top of the world at the moment, but 
there's always that underlying feeling of like, well, is this ever going to work out? Is this ever going to, you know, why, why do I still feel so much stress from this situation? It's because it's unfinished business, motherfucker. Wake up, right? Um, there was another situation with, uh, you know, same people who were like, oh, GPU sucks, right? <laughs> but apparently there's been this random account messaging uh, the both of these people. And they kept on ignoring them, ignoring them, ignoring them, only chatting a little bit. And I guess it's a lot different once you're in the soup rather than the one watching it. But uh you know it just kept on doing this over and over and over and there was no real like progress it would cause them immense stress each time you know and then i was like you know what i'll help out and i'll go ahead and uh go go intervene and be like hey what's up what's going on you know which i i think some people might need every now and then someone else there to kind of handle the situation for them but uh, I talked to the individual who kept pestering them over and over. And I did this with, uh, you know, the two friends I did have that got in, like, a big fight and stuff like that. I would kind of be communicator between both. Um, but, yeah, I, I asked this person what was going on, you know, the persons who, who was basically getting stalked, their feelings about the situation, the problem that uh, both of them had and all that stuff. And uh, from my knowledge, that person has not tried to contact the other one uh, in, like, forever, which is really great, you know? <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. I guess that's the big issue, is the, the... I don't know. You gotta, you gotta deal with the conflict, which isn't fun. <laughs> it's not fun at all. I don't know, it, it makes for uh, long-lasting moments, I suppose. I don't know, I think a lot of people just don't want to put in the effort. Which is same with me. Because I didn't want to put in the effort to actually fix any of my issues with people. You know, I've always had this mindset. Here's a little bit of just the lower mindset. Maybe you can learn something, but... My mindset has always been that... Um... If there's an issue that cannot be simply um, corrected or fixed, then I would rather just restart the whole fucking thing. I, I know this is going to sound ultra mega, super duper, big cringe mode, right? But if you've ever... <laughs> let me get a drink of water. If you've ever had... The, the opportunity to watch the show Invincible, right? <laughs> you don't even have to watch that. We all know the meme, okay? Of Omega Man beating the shit out of his own son on, like, a mountaintop. For you, for those who still have no recognition of what that is, uh, it's the meme where he's all like, Think, Mark! Think! <laughs> I had pull up a picture, but... I feel like that goes a step too far. Anyways, uh, it's that whole meme. Uh, if you watch the whole video, it's actually pretty impactful. It's one of those like, oh man, that's red in the fields. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know. <laughs> uh, but you, you, you ever have those moments where you relate to like the bad person in the film? Or the movie or whatever. Because they're like complicated characters. And sometimes I'm a complicated character in real life. It just happens, you know? <laughs> but you kind of relate to them. Uh, well, he said the light. He's all like... He's all like... What's another 15 years? <laughs> Sorry. I'm just laughing because you're not supposed to relate with this. But I, I kind of did. Um... But basically, he's beating up his son because his son's like, oh, I, I don't want to become a little evil man like you, dad. The dad's like, dude, you got to become one or like, I'm going to freak out. But Omni-Man or the dad, he was like, just beating the shit out of his son. He's like, 
What, you don't want to join? Well, what's another 18 years? I live for like millions of years. What's another 18 years? I can always start another family, have another son. You know, <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> like, holy shit, man. But I've kind of had that ideal uh, for friendships. You know, if it's not something that can easily be fixed or something like that, and it's just ass up. Like, man, this is fucked. I'd rather just start all the way back over again. Because, you know, we may as well. I've kind of moved past that now. I've kind of gone to the point where I am attempting to fix any issues or to uh, try and, you know, not let it go at ass up, you know. It can be difficult sometimes, because there's so many fucking variables with people, and you have to account for that. You know, you can't talk the same way to everyone. That's the real big issue. And if you're like, well, I do it all the time. Yeah, fucking take a look at your friend group and realize there's some people that you can call, you know, stupid retards, bald little retards, right? And then there's some people in that group that if you said that, they'd have like a mental breakdown and go wild and be like, what do you mean by that? What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I still kind of believe in that. You know, there's a little bit of me that's like, no, no, come on, man. You don't believe in that anymore. There still is a part of me that does believe in that. It's very much, I, I think it's what helps out. I don't want to be one of those doomer little goth uh, people that's like, well, people are never around, so I have to be like this. You know, I don't want to be like one of those. I have a much more, again, I think it's the positive nihilism that gets me. It's that, you know, you have nothing. That's actually a good thing, because you can create something, anything. That you want from it, right? So if I have people in my life who don't want to be with me, right? And say it's not because of me, right? Like, I have tried in my best efforts to mend the, mend the issue, to make sure I've accounted for their feelings, to make sure that there might be some possible way of repair, even if it's not instantaneous, but in the long run as well, for there to be a slow mending, right? But that's just not going to work out. The person doesn't want it. They don't want to help try and fix it, right? I will simply just be like, whatever. Goodbye. See you later. It doesn't mean that it won't hurt, you know? I remember when I had a big grape, uh, a big grape, <laughs> a big group breakup that it did hurt for a long time. And they say it takes up to like a year. Or something to not hurt when it comes to like relationships, family, friendships, all that good stuff. Or I think there's like a graph for it or something like that. But um, <laughs> I think no, I think there is a graph. It was something like, oh, how long does it take for a male spouse to or a male widower to uh, come to terms with the loss of their lover? It was like two to three years or something like that. Whereas for women, it's like, oh, 10 years. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's crazy how that happens. I guess I'm like one of those, but I'm like hyperactive. I'm on drugs. But, um, yeah. In the end, for me, it just doesn't really matter. I think a lot of people, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's how the age is. You know, like, you had to be careful about losing your friends because, uh, you know, you kind of got what you got. But nowadays, there's a lot of people everywhere. It's almost reached, like, a little bit of a reverse situation, right? It's kind of like, what's the fucking, what's the metaphor I'm going for? It's kind of like the... Fuck. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to remember what it was used for, but 
It's the whole, you know, an ocean wide, but a puddle deep, right? Or puddle wide, but ocean deep, right? I feel like we went from puddle wide to ocean deep, you know, basically saying that there's not a whole lot, but it is rich in quality with how deep it goes down, right? And I feel like those are the friendships that were, but nowadays it's very much a ocean wide with puddle deep kind of deepness to it, you know, <laughs> like there are so many communities that you can join. There's so many groups you can be a part of, but it never feels deep. It never feels like more than an actual friendship. You know, it feels on the level, on the surface level kind of friendship, right? I think that's how I kind of view a lot of friendships. I think. I don't know. I try and... Listen, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I think that's just kind of, like, kind of how I view them. Very much a... Well, you know... I enjoyed this person's time. But... That's that. There's nothing that can be done, truly. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry, let me take a drink of water. My brain juice is falling down. I feel like this episode's gonna be pretty shit, you know? <laughs> I mean, I may have had a much better intro and all that, but... Uh, fuck, I forgot to be like, oh, make sure to go check out all these other uh, podcast things and all that. But we'll, we'll have to see how how much of a difference that intro makes compared to others. But uh, what else? Yeah. I, I just, I don't know. I feel like I just had a brain, a brain slip there. A brain fart, that's what it's called. And it's like... I feel like I had a topic, but now it's kind of, it's kind of run its course. I don't even know what I was talking about. It was like ghosting or something like that. Whatever. I don't care. Let's go roll a random icebreaker. Those are always fun. I had like a mental freak out on the last one. I was like, oh, 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 oh. you know, <laughs> like, oh, shit. Oh shit, bro. Um, online icebreaker uh, generator. No. Oh. Like, oh, here you go. You want to do some of these crazy ones, right? Like, no, sir, ma'am. There's a specific site I like to go to that lets me just do it like this. Prayer free icebreaker generator. Okay. Let's go take a little look. See. Uh, I'll go ahead and roll this a few times. Then we'll see what we can. Icebreaker question of the night is. You could keep only one part of your morning routine. What would it be? I only have like one morning routine. And it's to get up and to eat like. I, I used to eat two frozen cheese burritos. <laughs> I like a, I like a, I like the direction this is going. Um, I used to eat two frozen cheese burritos, right? And I'd be like, mm, delicious. But now I've moved down to one because I, I'm kind of fat and I don't want to be fat anymore. But this is the only, this is the only way to do it. Anyways, uh, yeah, it is like they're good. You know, they once you do it with like a little bit of Taco Bell hot sauce, it's like, damn, this is actually pretty nice, dog. Dude, this is pretty nice. But I think I'm getting to that point where I'm uh, I'm becoming too used to it. You know, so I need to eat like a bowl of cereal or something before it gets too crazy. I'm like, man, this tastes awful now. <laughs> you know, because <laughs> they're cheap, they're good. There's nothing bad about them. You know, it's just a good old time. Uh, but that is absolutely one part of my morning routine that I can't get rid of. Because I need to eat the food to not be in a cranky mood for the rest of the day. 
And then I have to take my medicine with it. Oh my god. Today was just... I don't know. I feel like I woke up in a bad mood, but... Then again, I feel like I, I was in a good mood. And I was just taken down notch by notch today. It wasn't even, like, intentional, but... Oh my god. Just people won't shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't know how else to how else to describe it other than that that people just won't shut the fuck up, you know. I was doing my stream, and I know most of the time it was just people, you know, just trolling on me and all that, or something, or they're just trying to have a funny goofers time. But it's like, what was it? I'm trying to think. It was on Discord. Um. Because last night I had tried making some hamburger helper, and the only part that messed up is that I pulled out a little bit of sauce and it went on the burners, right? And like, I don't know. I there was just one comment on my Discord that's like, "Yeah, this man must be autistic because only an autistic person wouldn't be able to cook hamburger helper." I don't know. Something got to me about that. Hello, where's my picture? Hello. Hello. There you go. Sorry about that. Anyways, but like this autistic, this man must be autistic, because you'd have to be autistic to not be able to make hamburger helper. And it's like it, it's not a what should I call? I don't know. If it if it came from a rando, I'd be like, yeah, whatever. Screw it. Eh, hey, spaghetti, right? Well, it comes from someone that you know. I I chat with. Uh, to like quite quite a few times and it's like what is this what is this garbage you know <laughs> i don't know it's a uh, it's it got under my skin for some weird reason most things don't but I, again I, I don't know if i it's because i woke up in a bad mood or something else like that it's not usually the case but i did sleep on the corrupt pillow i'll tell you about that in a moment but um, the rest of the time it was just awful, just awful. I went to go stream on my early stream, all that stuff, and there was like fucking. There was someone else there who was like, "Oh yeah, you should be doing uh, reactions." And it's like, what? Why are you tell me this? Why are you tell me what to do, what to change? You know? And it's like, <laughs> oh no, it's like my my little shield for handling criticism just went down the drain. You know, usually I'd be like, oh, yeah, well, I'll criticize my nuts, why don't you? Or something silly like that, but there was something about it that just, like, got under my skin, and I was like, what the fuck is this, man? You know, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I get it. I'm just describing my day. But, yeah, two burritos, two, br two breakfast burritos but they're not actually breakfast burritos they're just bean cheese it's pretty good um i think it gets me on the right foot if you don't eat food you get like cranky i used to be able what i would do is i would wake up go to school um i'd eat my food all that good shit or not eat food i would not eat food i hate breakfast okay i hate breakfast so much Right? It's because it's like 90% fucking sugar. Right? I'm not going to be one of those types of people that's like, oh, people should live a sugar-free life. Oh, it's more natural to eat wood. Oh, you know? I'm not going to be one of those types. But, oh my gosh. Just sugar everywhere. I think what really fucked me up on like breakfast food for the rest of my life, uh, <laughs> it's going to be like, Man, this, this is stupid, bro. What are you talking about? It was toaster strudels. Let me go see if I can. Like, yeah, I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to go ahead and show an image for this thing. But let me go ahead and go show an image of toaster strudels. How much I fucking hate them. Toaster strudel. Oh, you're fucked, man. You're fucked. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. Like, <laughs> I'm... I'm fucking, what you call it? I'm like exposing this piece of shit, being like, 
Everyone go dox this. Go dox this guy right now. This little asshole. This little fucking piece of shit. There, let me see if I can pull up desktop view. There you go, desktop capture. Look at this little asshole. Look at this little fucking piece of shit. Okay. <laughs> okay, this piece of shit. My mom used to get this for me, right? And that's all cool and fair and all that. But I hated this. I hated this with a passion. Especially with how, like, warmed up it would get. It's like, great, this tastes awful. This tastes like fucking flaky sugar in my mouth. Thanks. No. <laughs> oh, no, there, there's really no way to... I don't know. I'm trying not to be too much of an evil, an evil son of a bitch here. But, like, this is what ruined breakfast for me. And, you know, a lot of people are like, what are you talking about, man? That actually looks pretty good. I'd probably try that and be disgusted. Because that's marshmallow in there. And chocolate. You know. <laughs> but, anyways, I, I'm getting... Ew. No, that's a lie. That's a big lie. That's a biggest lie. Now with thicker cut bacon. No way. No way. No way. Nope. Uh-uh. Impossible. Anyways, point is... Right? I hate sugary drinks. Like that. And that's weird because a kid would... Never say no to a sugary treat. But it's like a warmed sugary treat. And it's like, dude, what is this? Hello? I, I think it's the glaze. It's like the... I, I don't like glaze for some weird reason. Like, you ever sauce up a chicken or whatever and you put like a honey barbecue glaze on it? Oh, that makes me disgusted. It's like fucking... I don't know. It's not a liquid. It's not a solid. <laughs> it's like a, it's like honey, right? At least honey, it, it's honey. You know, you can't really bitch about that. But all these other things are just like, ugh. It's fucking sticky. It's slimy. It's or it's not slimy, but it's very sticky. Gets all over the place. Thanks a lot. I hate my life. Um, maybe that's why I didn't. But yeah, I don't like breakfast. Yeah, I don't like breakfast. Uh, I don't know. I, I I think that's good enough. Let's go do some questions. Huh? Again, this whole this whole podcast feels off topic. Huh? Feels like I'm going left and right, left and right, left and right. Whereas my much more free flow. Here, let me just hate on this new method, this new way of doing this. Uh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> no, um. Let me go open the forum and go see what new podcast questions we have. I don't remember if there were some of these before. Um, all right. So we got some new ones. We got uh, some from Ben. I, I forgot to make questions. Or do you think you'll ever figure it out, Bibber? Um, no, life is all about continuing development blibble blabble continuing on brr, you know anyways <laughs> that's all i could say i i think ben is referencing a meme where a man says figure it out dude figure it out dude but instead of dude he says the n-word so um yeah i don't know i that's a maybe one day i'll talk about that I don't know, this podcast is supposed to be very much a feelsy podcast, not a... Uh, we're going to talk about how Bush did 9-11. You know what I mean? It's a self-help podcast. Uh, let's see. What are your thoughts... Oh, wait, sorry. This is from Retrovid26. What are your thoughts on the universe and the possibility of other life existing out there? I love this question. This is a fantastic question. All questions are trumped by this question. It is so good. Um, I really want to believe there's some kind of alien life out there. I really do. It's, listen, I'm going to be part of the problem and overquote something. But it's like the one quote where it's like, there are two possibilities. It is that we are either 
alone or that we are not in the universe. And both are scary thoughts or whatever. But I want some alien pussy, bro. You know. <laughs> like straight up. Let me take some water. I would love aliens to be real. I don't even care if they're like crazy. I don't care if they're scary. You know, just let there be aliens, man. I guess some people could even say that a lot of the things on planet Earth are aliens to us, you know, because of how weirdly evolutionized it is. But we just call them animals, so it doesn't really make them that spooky scary, you know what I mean? But, oh, man. I just really love the thoughts of aliens and monsters and all, all this other shit, you know. It's so cool to have that kind of idea. Like, just other creatures that function entirely differently from us. You know, being a possibility. Having some amount of sentience, that'd be even cooler, you know. I don't think I'll ever be able to live to the age where we do get to meet those types of people, but man, that'd be pretty sick. <laughs> it's like, man, you shit poop ass. You know what I mean? Anyways. Uh, but yes, I, I do believe that there are aliens out there somewhere. And I hope there is. Because I hope there is for real, for real, because I really like aliens. I really, I really like them. <laughs> you know, you know. But, uh, yeah, I think that's a really good question. I'd love to talk more about aliens. In fact, maybe I'll make that my next podcast, Aliens. But, you know, I, I won't touch on it too much other than saying that, yes, I do believe that aliens exist in this universe. Uh, will I ever meet one? Probably not. But hopefully there will be one day where um, aliens will just be part of society or something like that. I don't know if we'll even get to that point. You know, that's the real depressing thing. Maybe we'll also talk about that end of the world and shit like that. But, uh, yeah, I think this was a good podcast. I felt like the intro was very rushed, you know. You're not, you're not going to a podcast, you know. Fucking get to... It's not like a YouTube tutorial, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not a YouTube tutorial where it's like, Oh, well, uh, we're going to go ahead and have a little bit of... Uh, uh, we're going to fix this computer, and there we go. It looks great, everyone. Fantastic job. You know, you're going there to listen about the topic, and it's almost as if I have been putting the topic in the fucking title, you know... Maybe look at that and be like, oh, I wonder when he's going to get to talk about that. Even even then, just fucking skip. Just skip to the fucking, like, middle point or whatever. Look for, look for the fucking thing. There's got to be at least some point in my fucking podcast where I'm actively talking about something and not just being like, huh, well, I guess, hmm. I don't know. But, yeah, I guess that'll be it, everybody. Uh, thank you for tuning into the podcast. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them down below in the comment section or to, uh, you know, if you're on my Discord, you can ask them in the forum section uh, where it is a designated spot for those questions. Um, I hope everyone has a good rest of their day or night or whatever. I love you all dearly, and uh, toodaloo, boo, bye.